think uh, we will move on to the next presentation by Dr. Prasanna Venkatesh Ramesh, The Do-It-Yourself, Novel, Safe and Cost-Effective of Thalmic Cubicle, Coronavirus and COVID-19 era. Yes, ma'am. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes. Uh, is my screen visible? Uh, yes. Yes. Thank you for the opportunity, ma'am. Uh, so the Do-It-Yourself, uh, Novel, Safe and Cost-Effective of Thalmic Cubicle, so uh, when COVID-19 happened, uh, we had to convert the previous waiting hall into an OPD and investigation cubicle. Our idea was to minimize the patient movement inside the hospital premises by bringing all the ophthalmic gadgets under a common roof. So the pre-COVID waiting hall was converted into an OPD cubicle to evaluate all the ophthalmic gadgets that we wanted were brought into it. So we installed the cubicle on May 4th, 2020. The dimensions of the cubicle were 16 feet in length, 16 feet in breadth, and 8 feet in height, with a total surface area of 256 square feet. And this is the video from the insides of the cubicle showing all the eclectic setup that is needed for a day-to-day -day ophthalmic practice, a comprehensive practice rather, a slit lamp with an applanation tonometer, a refractometer, an NCT, a non-contact tonometer, another slit lamp. So we had two slit lamps, a confocal fundus imaging device, and electronic medical records and uh, OCT, optical biometry, and so on. So we provided sliders in front of every gadget so that we can close the sliders when we are not really using that instrument. Similarly, for the comfort of patient's leg positioning during examination, customized in inward angulated dents were made for each instrument, each ophthalmic instrument. So there was a second layer of protection for the machine shield so that it adds as a secondary layer, along with the primary cubicle, which is also another physical barrier. The, each inst installation of the instruments were given three feet distance at least between one from the other so that a social distancing norms were followed while the patient is having multiple investigations going on. This is the inside view from the cubicle showing the distance of at least three feet and on the right hand side you can see the outside view showing the distance between the two instruments. The materials used to make it was an acrylic sheet, aluminium beading, jigsaw cutting blade and adhesives which when put together we had uh, the do-it-yourself novel and the cost-effective cubicle. So the acrylic sheet, eight millimeter thickness, four in number were used. Aluminum beading, two into two inch, 20 pieces, and four into four inch, four pieces were used along with adhesives, jigsaw cutting blade, screws, bolts, and nuts. And if you see the financial economic per se, the acrylic sheet costed approximately rupees 2.25 lakhs. The aluminum beading, 28,000. And adding to it with it, the adhesives, screws, bolts, and nuts, and the locks for the sliders and doors, Along with the air conditioner, it costed approximately 3.09 lakhs. Adding to it the labor and cutting charges, it came cumulatively up to 3.4 lakhs. And the additive feature of this cubicle is it can be opened with a leg with this appendage given so that there was no hand touch by the doctor or the paramedical staff and it can also be closed by the leg. And since there is a physical barrier, the patient and doctor communication was quite challenging. So we installed two microphones, one inside and one outside for the doctor and the patient. Similarly, two speakers were installed and uh, we used to counsel the patients with the LAN connection from the machine so that they, we can counsel them with their own images as seen in this video, explaining with the help of a microphone for smooth audiovisual communication. So all the ophthalmic instruments uh, were carried out with the doctor or the paramedical staff inside the cubicle with the patient being outside the cubicle. This is the clinical workflow as follows. And this is a video showing the transmission of case sheets or any important data that the patient wants to show to the doctor, the small rectangular opening from the outside to the inside. An additive feature such as a local area network or the wireless LAN can also be added inside the cubicle and which can enhance the functionality of the cubicle. And validation and results in the last 16 to 17 months, 97% of the ocular patient examination were performed with our gadgets inside the cubicle rather than with the gadgets outside the cubicle and it was quite statistically significant. Gadgets such as slit lamp, lens star, corneal topography, fundus, NCT and OCT were the ones which were performed inside the cubicle and the remaining 2% were the synoptophore or the B-scan, specular and visual fields which were performed outside the cubicle. And discussion wise, whenever the door of the cubicle or the sliders were open, air was flowing from the inside to the outside creating quite a relatively unidirectional flow and hand sanitation and physical barriers were also followed. So far, 29 medical and paramedical staffs have worked inside the cubicle. None of them have reported COVID positive within their two weeks of their duty completion inside the cubicle. And this is a figure showing a special air conditioner outflow 
for the cubicle alone separately which is not mixing with the surrounding environments air conditioner flow and it is cost effective one minute remaining sir yes sir it is a cost effective cubicle less space consuming easily constructible and it has given excellent results and safety for the medical staff especially when during the first phase and during the second phase of the lockdown even this year even before the two dose vaccination during the initial phase of the pandemic and uh, how do we take it forward it is quite universally applicable though india is entering a pandemic stage it has opened up new options such as it is an effective disposable tool what can be done in a in a space of 256 square feet it has really opened an eyes as to how the space can actually be made moving forward for ophthalmic evaluations though keeping in mind it cannot uh, exclusively or completely substitute a tertiary eye care setting where management process is still a dynamic one and constantly needs its physical interaction so it is a state of the art feature for comprehensive evaluation which has helped instill confidence and safety among the medical and paramedical staff during the pandemic thank you uh you can stop sharing the screen uh, prasanna yes sir any questions the only only thing which i um, have a which i want to tell you is our understanding of covid as an aerosol driven disease that concept is completely changing yes so one thing you have to remember is i um, mean this is perfectly great you know the efforts you have taken is phenomenal i think it needs a big round of uh, applause to you and your team uh, but that was in the early stage of our understanding how much of it's actually driven by aerosols how much of it is all were in the first phase if we really look at the modern day you know all that fumigations we do so cleaning the surface all that has extremely very limited uh, role now i mean uh, i mean till until unless who comes out with the guideline which is to, which i feel is going to take a long long time because nobody is aware of it but uh, in a, in a, you know whatever it is uh, i think it's a great job i think we congratulate you for this efforts Only thing, uh, to bring back the confidence for the paramedical staff is yeah, one thing. absolutely absolutely and second thing yeah. we uh, re uh, what to say we again uh, rediscovered ourselves that what could be done in 256 square feet is another thing that uh, what is i agree to totally agree I, I, i also had one question how much time does it take for the entire conversion if somebody has to start from you know a to z to make the cubicle ma'am yeah uh, yeah ma'am it will take at least 10 to 14 days to get it assembled uh, so that is the time limit along with the with a good labor team it takes 10 to 14 days okay uh, dr ramesh have a question must, one small one must congratulate prasanna because of two reasons because now retrospectively we uh, may have different theories uh, as uh, rohit was saying but uh, the kind of fear this covid had created at that time uh, i think uh, yes uh, this, uh, yeah at that time this kind of jugad which uh, prasanna and team created i think at 256 square feet and around 3 lakhs whatever is uh, i think at that time it would have definitely uh, you know uh, give you and as well as a lot of people a relief that uh, with, within this small area so much can be done yes thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you.